Hello everyone. Today in this post we are going to talk about the range of a projectile. We know projectile is a body which moves both along x and y axis simultaneously because it is projected with an angle theta to the horizontal with an initial velocity u. We have proved in the previous post that it is going to take a path of parabola. The maximum horizontal distance that it travels along the x axis is called as range and we have derived the equation for that range r as u square sin 2 theta by g. From this written equation it is very clear that range of a projectile depends on initial velocity of projection. Of course acceleration due to gravity at a given place is constant and angle of projection theta. Suppose we have projected with an angle theta range is nothing but this much. Let me call that as r1 u square sin 2 theta by 2 g. If suppose I say angle of projection is different now. If angle of projection is say some 90 minus theta then range of that particular projectile with the same velocity of projection is u square sin 2 it is 90 minus theta now by g. Let us simplify u square sin 2 into 90 180 2 into theta 2 theta divided by g. We know as per the trigonometry sin of 180 minus 2 theta is nothing but sin 2 theta that implies I can write range r2 is equal to u square again sin 2 theta by g. From this equation it is very clear that range of the first case is equal to the range of the second case. So, we are proving that in this case we are proving that range is same range of a projectile is same for two angles of projection for two angles of projection theta and 90 minus theta. So, if I have projected with an angle different from theta say that is 90 minus theta it may have a different uh, maximum height but it is going to have a same range heights are obviously going to be different. How they are going to be different? In the first case for an angular projection theta I can write maximum height is as per the equation that we have discussed u square sin square theta by 2g. For the second angular projection 90 minus theta maximum height is we can write an equation u square sin square 90 minus theta by 2g you know sin 90 minus theta is uh, cos theta therefore this is going to be u square cos square theta by 2 g. That implies very clear that uh, only the ranges are same but the maximum heights are different. So, for what angles this range is going to be the same for theta and uh, 90 minus theta that means what for 30 degree and uh, 90 minus 30 60 degree for 20 degree and 70 degree for 35 degree and 90 minus 35 degree that is nothing but equal to 55 degree like this for any of these two complementary angles ranges are always going to be the same that is what I want to prove in this post today range is same for two angles of projection theta and 90 minus theta thank you.